Hi everyone, my name is Ananveer Saini and our SCARP Studio team has prepared a five-year strategic plan for First Nations Home Energy Safe Program of Fraser Basin Council. We are a team of three SCARP students, Amelia, myself and Jorge. We would like to acknowledge that we are gathered on the traditional, ancestral and unceded territory of Musqueam, Squamish and Salil Batut First Nations. We would also like to thank our instructors at SCARP UBC and our partners at Fraser Basin Council. The Fraser Basin Council is a charitable non-profit organization that brings together multiple levels of governance to advance the goals of sustainability in British Columbia. The First Nations Home Energy Safe Program of FPC supports on-reserve First Nation communities to reduce energy use, strengthen local capacity, and enhance economic development through peer learning opportunities, knowledge management, and funding coordination. Now, why is home energy efficiency important to First Nation communities? The cost of average Canadian home energy use is around $2,000, whereas in case of First Nations, this amount doubles to $4,000. Many communities are remotely located and use diesel and wood to generate energy. Home energy efficiency programs aim to ensure social, financial, and environmental sustainability of on-reserve communities. So our project goal was to develop a five-year strategic plan for the First Nations Home Energy Safe Program of the Fraser Basin Council. Our plan development process was divided into four phases. The first phase included information gathering and literature review. The second phase was focused on partner engagement and conducting of interviews. The third phase included the process of vision development, data analysis, and designing recommendations. And the fourth phase was focused on strategic plan development. In phase three of the planning process, we conducted a visioning workshop at FPC and arrived at the inference that the program vision is to empower First Nation communities in BC to transition towards energy efficient housing. This is summed up in three words, engage, empower, and enhance. The plan has been structured to contain strategic priorities, objectives, actions, and measures of success. We have identified three strategic priorities for the plan. First, to extend communications. Second, to establish sustainable funding. Third, to enhance training opportunities. As part of priority one, we designed the following objectives. First, build relationships and a knowledge base between all program participants and FBC staff. Second, improve social media and web channels to share knowledge with and amongst First Nation communities. Third, FPC should support internal communications within First Nation communities. All these objectives contain specific actions and measures to monitor success. For example, the second objective is focused on improving social media for knowledge sharing. One of the action designed for this is to develop and use a Facebook page as core medium for information dissemination. And the measures of success are number of social media views, number of page visits, and number of communities connected via Facebook Messenger. The second strategic priority is to establish sustainable funding. Under this priority, the objectives are to diversify funding sources for the program and to facilitate collaboration among First Nation communities to apply for large project grants. As an example, for Objective 1, focused on diversifying funding sources, the action designed is to apply for grants from new sources of funding and collaborate with Indigenous Clean Energy Network to explore multi-sectoral funding. The measures of success for this action are number of grants received by FPC and the total money granted by FPC to First Nations for home energy retrofits and quality new construction. The third strategic priority is to enhance training, which can be met by the following objectives. First, provide training and support related to development of materials. Second, develop a training evaluation framework. And third, initiate and support new partnerships. As an example, for meeting objective three, we suggest that the action required is to facilitate collaboration between First Nation communities and universities in order to build relationships that benefit both parties. The measures to monitor success are the number of partnerships established. Our team has collated all these strategies in the plan document, and we hope that it will strengthen the First Nation Home Energy Safe Program of the Fraser Basin Council. Thank you.